Uh, yeah. It's got Dylan Wise and Raw. It's a pretty good Raw. Started off with Daniel Bryan coming out with Brie Bella. They just got married. Then the Monster Kane came out and tombstoned him on the on the mats outside the ring, the still steps, and the announcer table. Then it was um, Wade Barrett versus Sheamus. And um, Wade Barrett win. Bad News Barrett knocks out Sheamus. Gets to one, two, three. There was... Emma and Santino versus Layla and Van Dango, which Emma and Santino Santino defeated Van Dango and Layla. Um, RVD defeated Antonio Cesaro by a countout due to the interference of Jack Swagger. Um, he knocked Cesaro into the ring post, and you know this rivalry is going on between them. And then Cesaro swung Jack Swagger around. Thought that was pretty cool. The swing is always cool. Cesaro, the king of swing. Um. Shit, what else happened on Raw? Oh yeah, Evolution came out and challenged the Shield to Extreme Rules. We all saw that coming. Some people say that Evolution in real life would destroy the Shield. They're way too strong. You got Randy Orton, Batista, and Triple H versus Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose, and Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is the muscle, like Batista's the muscle of Evolution. That's going to be a pretty good match. Probably the main event for Sunday. You know, I don't see Daniel Bryan versus Kane being the main event. But yeah, Extreme Rules, Daniel Bryan versus Kane. And Daniel Bryan's really hurt right now, so who knows? Maybe Kane will become the new world champion. Who knows? Paige defeated Oksana. But now Paige is going to face Tamina, Extreme Rules. I kind of like Paige. Cute little vampire girl. It's awesome. Um, During this role, there was um, Alexander Rusev, who defeated S- Sin Cara, which is Extreme Rules. Um, Alexander Rusev will face R-Truth and Xavier Woods in a handicap match, which I think Alexander Rusev will win. He's, he's kind of like the new Brock Lesnar, kind of like when Brock Lesnar was a rookie back in the day, facing the Hardys. That's how, this is what this reminds me of. Hope they push Rusev and not mess him up or anything. Um, yeah, um, what else happened? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah, John Cena. He's, um... Yeah, he was in a, he was putting a three on one handicap match against the Wyatt family, Bray Wyatt, um, Luke Harper, and that other guy. Oh, Eric Rowan, that's right. And basically, the match started off with those guys destroying John Cena, and then John Cena becoming Superman. He almost won, but all the guys ran the ring and attacked him. And the referee called the bell, and Bray Wyatt was like, "He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands." <laughs> Bray Wyatt for you. But um, this Raw was a little bit weird, you know. Um, Daniel Bryan getting attacked. It's like, they're not putting Daniel Bryan on the show at all. Although Daniel Bryan's dad just passed away and sad news for him. I guess maybe he needed time off to get a funeral ready for his dad or something, you know. I feel bad for Daniel Bryan, really. People are dying, Ultimate Warrior, or Daniel Bryan's dad. I mean, who's next, you know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this Raw was alright. It was just... Actually, I kind of fell asleep during it, to be honest with you. <laughs> I like now it's going to be RVD versus Bad News Barrett, and the winner will face the Intercontinental Champion, Biggie Langston. Extreme rules. Bad News Barrett is probably going to win. That's a spoiler for you. Um, I don't know. B- Biggie Langston hasn't been wrestling either, and he's a champion, so I don't know. Also, where's the United States Championship belt that Dean Ambrose has? Did they get rid of the, did they get rid of the United States Championship? They had to put it on someone else and have a... And have more titles on the line. This is getting ridiculous. Give Alexander Rusev the United States Championship. as a little off topic. But, um, yeah. Evolution back together. Although, Batista's probably leaving after Extreme Rules. So, I don't know what's going to happen from there. Triple H ran during the tag team. Who knows. Um. I guess this overall was a 3.0, I guess. Eh, it was boring. I got bored. But yeah, um, Extreme Rules might be cool. There's no blood or anything, but hey. You guys might like it. And, um, no CM Punk either. <laughs> I hope wrestling doesn't go downhill from here. I don't want to have another thumbs down. But yeah, I guess that's my raw review. Thank you for watching Jackson Long Morning 1. Subscribe if you want to, and bye.